Good morning, everyone from the Han River. Just checking in, having good air quality perfect temperature came out here just to check on how the flowers are doing there this is gonna be a weird spring this year um, probably like 30% of the trees are out but I think they're all gonna come kind of sporadically later this afternoon we're gonna head over to Soul Forest to see Alex we're gonna get some cherry blossom desserts and yeah this is I'm leaving in five days four days, five days. So I'm gonna try and see as much of Soul Spring as I possibly can and uh, take you along with me. And then we're hitting the US, we're hitting both coasts, which is exciting. I haven't been to San Diego since my family moved away. So, um, wait, is that a lie? That's a lie because I was there in October 2020. Okay, so I haven't been there since 2022. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. So by the time that we come back to Korea, the trees will probably be done, but it will be green and it will be wonderful. So yeah, welcome to the video and uh, welcome to spring. It is March 31st. Oh my God, there's a black lab coming towards me. Um, I'll see you later. Quick fun fact that I just learned about magnolias. They are like a very ancient tree. And so they were around like with the dinosaurs. <clears throat> and the reason that their petals are like so thick is because instead of being pollinated using bees, they were pollinated by beetles, which needed, you know, they're heavier. So they needed a heavier thing to land on. But anyway, the park is packed. Oh, the trees kind of are out. Oh, good. They're not out on the west side of the park. They're all out on the east side. I don't know. I'm going to go check on that cafe um, to make sure that there isn't a line because we're not, we're not line for cafe kind of people. So um, I'm going to go put my name down and eat some cake. a bit of chaos um, very very crowded but I've decided as I'm heading home I'm actually gonna stop in Sanjongneng to see if the cherry blossoms are out um, I don't think they are but I want to tell Alex we were both freaking out about like so little time so many cherry blossom places to possibly go to so I'm gonna go check on those for her and tell her whether it's worth going across town to see them <laughs> Um, so let's take the, ooh, let's not fall down the stairs and let's take the boondong line.
morning. Um, we're in Sochon right now, and originally my plan was, oh my god, so noisy. Originally my plan was to walk around and look for some cherry blossoms and then eat, but I am starving. So we're gonna get food first. Um, we're gonna go to a place that was closed the one time that I came, and so hopefully it's open now. I'm so hungry, let's go. So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long, the burning slowly, smelling sweat and kerosene. And all the actors on the stage are rolling cigarettes and whispering so low. They are just not out today. Oh, <laughs> oh well. So long, silent movies to wake in early, staying late. A very exciting adventure we're actually going to go to Cecil's new house because she is going to um, give me the boxes that she used to move we're very similar in that we have our own kind of system of how we want to pack things up so instead of having the moving company do it themselves we're gonna get a little head start so yeah let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Absolute angel Cecil <sighs> gave us the boxes that she moved, she used to move with. The only problem is our house, we don't have like, once I make these boxes and like fill them with things, I don't have like anywhere to put that box unless I just pile them kind of like in front of our window or something. Um, so I'm really not, I'm gonna try <laughs> to not start really truly packing until like a day or two before it's my thought so for now i'm just going to put these aside <sighs> but yeah that was lovely seeing her in her gorgeous apartment so um made me excited to move seeing her be like calm and like just like excited to put things together makes me calm and excited to put things together. Now I need to find some food because it's about three and I didn't have lunch and it's really nice out so I might hit like go outside again. I don't know it's all I got really hot like moving these boxes and sitting like cooking in that taxi um, so I'm gonna give myself a moment to cool down but then we might head back out. Um, cherry blossoms it's so funny the trees that are out and like beautiful are like the ones that are in these corners that you can't get to like in somebody's yard or something so i'm um, gonna wait another day but gorgeous weather out and yeah food first food first <laughs> Dans 
morning an excellent morning so far got woken up really early by construction and I decided to just screw it I was gonna stay home because it was supposed to be like rainy and cloudy today um, and I decided to come out here which there are cherry blossoms a ton we'll talk about that in a second but as I was on the way here coming out of the subway it's like election time so they have a lot of election people like volunteers but sometimes even the like local people running will come and like canvas the streets and so this real this conservative candidate for this area was in the subway station shaking hands at the bottom of the escalator I was going up so it didn't matter but I watched an Ajuma like eviscerate this man like he tried to shake her hand and she was like get the fuck away <laughs> uh, it warmed my heart it warmed my heart but anyway I'm gonna see if there are any seats in Dear Moment because it opens at nine and I'm awake. Um, so I'll check there and then if not, we'll just walk under these cherry blossoms, okay? Okay, good morning. <laughs> Okay, again, just continuing with the perfect day. So that place is called Dear Moment and it's one of the most popular cafes. So I knew I was like kind of chancing it going there um, and they take reservations for their window seats. And I did not make a reservation for a window seat, um, but they have, you can walk in and get like the less picturesque tables so i went in two people like two parties were there and um i took a seat in what i thought was still a gorgeous table like i could still see the cherry blossoms beautifully and as i'm waiting there um the woman comes up the owner and she's just like hey the person didn't like one team didn't show up would you like to sit in the like bar seat? There's like a really beautiful, honestly the best table. <laughs> Would you like to sit there? And I'm gonna cry. Like when they said that, I was like, oh really? Like I can? The other two teams there, like one of the girls especially, like literally cheered for me. She was like, oh my God, congrats. Like you got the table. <laughs> it was really cute. It was wholesome. This is another really famous one. I will link it down below. It's called Claude but that one gets crazy crowded and you can't even like, as far as I remember from last year, you couldn't even like sit in the seats. It was like strictly a photo zone. You couldn't just like sit and enjoy um, and that gets really crowded. So that one's clawed. It opens much later though. Now I am, uh, I'm pissed because I thought today the weather was gonna be really bad. So I have like indoor things I need to do just like for my life. Um, but I really want to be outside. 
this is such a bummer um so i'm just walking a little bit down the park and then we're gonna uh, slowly make our way home i guess i'm glad i got to see these at least and like in a not crowded not stressful place soul forest on sunday i would god reasons i never go anywhere on the weekends <laughs> let's walk and then mm, head home <laughs> Hello, we've made it home. I'm actually happy to be inside. It's getting a little hot. <laughs> I'm such a baby. Um, but this is a good time to be inside. Windows are open. Today, I am being brutally, brutally honest with myself. I'm gonna go through my closet again. I feel like I just did this and I got rid of stuff, but I feel like I could have been a lot more, like especially because recently, like in winter, I wear the same five pieces of clothing. I'm gonna be a little more brutal with myself, especially because we're moving. I don't wanna be packing things that I'm never going to wear and yeah i'm i'm glad that i went out this morning i'm in a good mood i was gonna just like wake up and immediately conquer my closet situation but again like i said i woke up early and i was just kind of scrolling and being like hmm are there any places that open before noon and within like 30 minutes i like was dressed and out the door and on the way to that cafe and i feel like when i am spontaneous soul rewards me for that <laughs> it works out or like something good happens so as someone who loves a good itinerary and planning things, maybe maybe try and be a little spontaneous right now. Uh, maybe this is your sign. I don't know. But that was so cute and lovely. And so now I'm going to put on some music. I'm going to make my house a mess. And then I'm going to clean it up again, hopefully. Um, it's also a good time to be moving because by the time that we move, I will firmly be putting away all of my winter clothes and taking out all of my summer clothes so time the time is now the time is now <laughs> i'm gonna start with the closet we don't actually use right my exercise pajama clothes ah. <laughs> first closet done i either have doubles of these the sizes are incorrect or I haven't worn them in a very long time. That's good, now on to the uh, disaster zone. <laughs> it's, it's really, it looks, well, I'm not gonna try and excuse it. It looks like more of a mess than it actually is just because of that one t-shirt that's been stuffed there, but I swear there is a system, it's just, okay, yeah, <laughs> no excuse. I've literally worn like three pairs of jeans for the past, I don't know, four or five months. Why do I have this many? You may ask. And so here's my question. Why do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black or gray shirts that are essentially exactly the same, slightly different thickness, slightly different necks. <laughs> and then two, three, three white long sleeve t-shirts. How many times have you seen me wear a white long sleeve t-shirt? I like white tops, but I get like really freaked out by like sweat stains because if I wear if I wear dark clothes, I will never sweat. If I wear clothes where a sweat stain will be visible, I will sweat. Also, does this have like what is this blue stain? Okay, made a decision easy. What is this? Okay. Okay, let me go try these on. <laughs> Decisions. I don't like wearing this color. I never grab it because I feel like I'll sweat and as we're getting into hotter weather, I will not wear it. Yes, so this one's going. This one has a weird stain and I didn't really like it anyway compared to the other two. This one is made from a really cheap material. So even though I really like it, I always feel nervous when I wear it. This one is an exact copy. I literally have just two of the exact one. And then this one, I don't like the material. It's like a not sweater, not shirt. So I never, there's like never a good time to wear this. All right, 
easy. <laughs> Significant progress has been made. I'm going to put my shirts back in the drawers and then I'm going to take a lunch break. I don't know if I need to call it a day and do some work. I'm not sure. The air quality is looking mm, all of a sudden. But thank you for joining me. I feel so good. I have given away what I think would be essentially almost an entire box worth of clothes, perhaps. Feeling good, feeling good. Welcome to day two of Carrie, spontaneous, also pause, gorgeous. Um, day two of Carrie waking up early and spontaneously going to look for cherry blossoms. I have a lot of work <laughs> to do today uh, before I leave because I really don't want to take my laptop um, on our trip. So I wasn't going to do anything today, but I decided, you know what? I woke up at 6 a.m. There are some places in Anguk now that open at 8 um, and there's a really gorgeous cherry blossom spot over here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get coffee. I'm going to go home. And then maybe if I am really good and I do a lot of work, uh, we can go this afternoon or this evening and see one more spot before my flight. Okay, here we go. Let's go in the garden. You'll find something waiting. Finally find it You'll see how it's faded The undecided is lighter When you turn it around Everything stays Right where you left it Everything stays But it still changes Ever so slightly Daily and nightly In little ways When everything To the ocean, the crystal tide is raising. The water's gotten higher as the shore washes out. Keep your eyes wide open, even when the sun is blazing. The moon controls the tide and can call. Okay, I might get it for <laughs> get one for you. Yeah. Really? So, would you go down there? And because I, I start my shooting from nine. Oh so my gosh. My clients are coming. Oh my so, gosh, I'll be yeah. so fast. <laughs> No, 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 right, no, right. Don't be fast. Yeah, yeah. And from down there, maybe, uh, probably like, kind of catch it. Okay, that was fantastic. But how about kind of one more time? Like, uh, looking upper more. Like, looking upper. Okay. Here, I'll hold Yeah, for sure. Ever so slightly. Daily and nightly. 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 I am telling y'all, spontaneity in spring pays off oh oh i see what they're doing it's starting it's gonna rain soon allegedly so the library librarians are uh covering the outdoor books with plastic but <laughs> gorgeous and i met that really nice guy i'll i'll link him down below he is a photographer that does a lot of like couple shoots and he had one today and he was like listen i got time you're clearly struggling, girl. <laughs> so nice. Oh my god, it's only 9 o'clock and I've had a wonderful encounter. Okay, coffee and bread now. And on that note, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I have to do a bit of last minute editing, like I said, I'm working on a pretty exciting project. I'll link it down below. It should be out by now. 
Uh, but I am finishing working on a short Skillshare class instead of like a longer one. I'm doing like a very quick short and sweet class that I've been working on for more than a few months. Um, so yeah, that's, I need to finish that quickly. Um, and then tomorrow, I think I just kind of want to focus on packing. I think I might see Jack um, and just kind of finish little things around the house. I like to clean my house before I go on a trip so that when I come home, I come home to a clean house. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what I just want to focus on tomorrow. It's raining, so I think I'm honestly, I could go out to see some more cherry blossoms, but I think I, it would just kind of stress me out, and I just want to really calm down, finish my work. That's it, you know? Um, so thank you so much for joining me on this week. I'm really glad we got to see some. I was worried in the beginning of this video. I was like, oh my god. They're all gonna bloom the day that I leave. So now my next worry is where we're gonna go to see the eclipse. Uh, that's what I'm going home to the US for. We're an eclipse chasing family. My parents went and saw the eclipse like right before I was born. Like I wouldn't have traveled at that time, um, but they went and they saw it in Mexico. Um, I, I saw the eclipse in 2017 in Nashville. We were there um, and yeah, we're going 2024. It seems like everywhere in the path that's like within driving distance for us is going to be cloudy that day so I know you can see it when it's cloudy like I, I know but it's not as impressive as if you were to have a clear day so yeah I don't know um but whatever happens happens I'm excited to see my family and um yeah so the next video I will see you in the states and we're gonna hit both coasts like I said which is exciting so yeah just thank you so much there were so many like beautiful moments like so many nice wonderful humans i also at the cafe um ran into two lovely girls visiting from germany um it's just been yeah it's just been a great couple days so um okay i like i said will catch you in the u.s fingers and toes crossed for us um and good luck if you're trying to catch it too love to you always see you then okay bye